Hey, welcome back. It is Sunday the 14th. I'm headed to a gig to shoot a commercial with a friend. I'm gonna take you with me and see if I can show you some behind the scenes. Let's do this. All right, I'm here. Just made it to the location. While I was cruising up here, um, I started reading, doing the audible of this book. It's called Atomic Habits by James Clear. This book is phenomenal. I highly suggest you listen to it. I'm gonna keep going. I think the whole thing is only like, um, it's like seven hours long, but it talks about uh, changing your habits and increasing things by just 1% in all these different areas. And that you should focus on not the goal, because everyone has goals, but focus on the process to get you to that goal. So like an Olympic swimmer or a candidate, everyone wants to win and wants the gold medal. But what's gonna get you there is the system that you focus on during that time. So like if you were uh, an ice cube and you were in a room and you were going to change the temperature of that room at 28, 29, 30, 1% or one degree each time, it's not gonna make a big difference but then all of a sudden the magic's gonna start happening around the 32 degree mark and then it's gonna seem like it just happened all at once and you're an overnight success. So what's gonna get you to your goal is just focus on your system and make sure that tomorrow you're gonna to do a little bit better than you did the day before. So that's the takeaway from that book. If you haven't read it, I highly suggest you just dig into it and you know, grab that audible because I get one free book a month and so I'm gonna finish this book all right it's three o'clock it's time for me to run inside I'm gonna take you with me all right let's go What's up? all right we got a PA working on this one named Megan we're gonna we're gonna meet right now I haven't met Megan hey, Megan John nice to meet you nice to meet you you too what's up Megan hey. long time hey. I know <laughs> what's been up just got back yesterday. From where? South Florida. I ran from the earthquake. Oh, okay. So you didn't get uh -huh. to experience it? Because no, I, no. I didn't. I felt all three, and the third one, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got everything pretty much set up. What we're doing over here, I had to set up in the, uh, the parking lot. Here we are, we're running the, uh, the, the Tilta with the A72 on it. The red camera over here. Got the nucleus, but we're not using them today. A couple other things with the... We're gonna be doing some <laughs> rescue heroes, what we're gonna be doing. And so this is a pretty cool event. It's really hot out here in the sun. There is a breeze, it's not too bad, but uh, it's pretty cool. There's a fire truck over here that came out and all the kids are just over here playing with the toys. So that's yeah, a pretty, pretty fun little day that we're having here. All right, I'm hanging out here with Megan. Megan, what's your job? My job is to make sure everyone signs their form and make sure everyone stays hydrated. That's a good job. <laughs> That's a good job. What do we got? We got Arrowhead sparkling water, Regular beef jerky, water. and some water, and some salt and vinegar. Blue eye almonds. Boldness. All Pretty right. Good. Pretty good stuff. <laughs> So these toys were first made in 1997. They stopped selling them in 2004, I believe. So this year, they're making a big comeback. So this is the new line of toys. The fire truck, all the, they have all these new equipment. It's really cool. The posters, we have all the names and what they do. And Billy is gonna be your main guy, obviously, Billy. Okay. He's cool. <laughs> uh, this engine that you're looking at is a 1966 Corral fire engine built right here in Los Angeles uh, during their uh, uh, 
uh, where we are right now. No, seriously, when I was a firefighter, it was fun. I would, they'd come up and they'd want to interview me and I'd go, no, you can talk to the guy with a white guy. <laughs> well, thank you. Man, we just filmed that interview, which was rough because literally right there is the Long Beach Airport and then people are pushing carts by and that is some of the challenges that happen when you're shooting on just a, not a set. <laughs> so, like that. There you go. All right, that's a wrap for this shoot. It's seven o'clock at night, everyone's broken down, it's time to go home. Hey guys, I'm back. It's a little after eight o'clock. Hope you enjoyed today some of the behind the scenes that I was showing you. Also, you got some good takeaways from the book. If you try to improve yourself 1% in different areas of yourself over the course of a year, it's gonna make a huge difference. You're gonna be in a much different place than you are currently. So that's what you need to work on. So and actually check out that book if you haven't. It can explain it a lot better than I can. All right, I gotta get some boys to bed. I hope you like these videos. If you wanna see more, please subscribe and like the video. Any suggestions, put them down below and I will see you on the next one. All right, take care, bye.